So, to wrap up the evening on, this is the game Seraph that I picked up while I was on sale. This is kind of a uh, roguelike uh, 2D shooter. The game features an adapt a dynamic difficulty that it gets harder the better I play, but in return I get more rewards. We're apparently an angel trapped in a human body trying to escape from a uh, demonic invasion. So far from what I played, I like it, but it doesn't have, I think, really good level design. Yeah. All right, so I need to get back used to these controls. One second. Dash. Weapon switch. Oop. So the interesting thing is that I don't aim. Instead, I just focus on dodging. Oop. If you look in the bomb left, that is the dynamic difficulty. The harder we get, the more rewards I return. Seems to be pretty basic. Uh, let's see. I'll keep the machine gun. The objectives are on the basic side as well. We see those little uh, indicators. On the enemy, usually means a mob fire. <laughs> well, I got something cool. Oh, that was terrible. These little starting pistols just do not do a good job. I think those uh, minions are being enhanced. This guy is boosting them. Hit me. There. Almost got a kill there. I could really ah, hey, do some healing. Uh-oh. There's our champion on the floor. You can see all those little mob fires. He has three bars of health, too. Oh, that's home. I'm trying to reach chat. Looks like getting hit. Win or lose, I can show off the persistence of some things. Oh! Oh, not good. Still in it. But I am one hit away from dying. Must make it to exit. Exit, come on. There. Whew. So now I can show off the persistence. So the oaths are passive benefits, that as we apply these shards to it, it gives me permanent boosts. So 
So what I want to do is get more upgrades. So to enhance this, I need to add more shards. So it basically works like this. You need three of the previous to unlock the next one. So as you can see, it's going to be very expensive to get to Arteos. But, let's see, how many shards do we have right now? We don't have a lot though, that's the bad news. And then over here. That could be very powerful. <laughs> Let you there. Let you to that. And we come over here I and create new weapons that can appear similar to like the buying of Isaac in each individual run. These are new uh, defensive items. And these are new miracles I can attach. Maintain. Hmm. Not bad. I would like to upgrade, where is it? I'd like to get Orb 2, but we don't have the resources. Hmm. That's 100, that's 50 plus 10. All right, well, we'll leave it for right now. There's also a Twitch mode, we were doing this on Twitch, that people can vote and give me help or hurt me. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. These little items I'm picking up are experience. Close. Ow. Ooh. They're usually given pretty clear indicators when the enemy's about to attack. Yeah, it, again, the story's going for like the whole mysterious thing here. Okay, here's some more. I need more ammo though. I then we replace the uh, Y spell. Next level, we survive that one. Enemy uh, designs don't seem to be all that interesting, unfortunately. At least at this difficulty. He just killed himself. Come on. The thing is, I have to have the X ability in order to finish off these enemies. And then you call them demons instead of demons. And sometimes those will feature bonuses as well. Ooh. I do like a railgun. I 
And that's why I like a railgun. So the reason why I went for pistol mastery is pretty obvious, as our pistol is our default. Oh, nice. Thank you for the hint, game. Whoa. Okay, that hint is kind of blocking the screen, though. You can uh, stop that. There we go. There's the actual target. That's one. And these lovely purple orbs are tracking. Ow. And again, I can tell what taxi's going to do based on the icons that appear. Of course, fighting the bigger guys gives us greater materials. There's our exit. But again, the more we explore, the more resources I can get. Still only on difficulty four though, which is considered hard. That. And I can dash in any direction. And each biome is made up of five levels. Let's see. I still need one more. Oh, I can upgrade my pistols. Right, let's see. There's tier two. I still need a lot more. My fear is that the tier 2 pistols won't go on me, kind of thing. Like, I'll have to find them. Oh, no, never mind, you can. Well, then. Apparently that's an ice minion. Uh -oh. Somebody's trying to slay me. Alright, so the pistol upgrades seem to be your main way of getting a permanent boost. While the other ones just simply ow, give you a new weapon. Right. This is the part that's gonna suck though. I'm 
this snipe. While keeping up those common shards, as that's what's allowing me to upgrade. Let's see. Sure. One more. I have no more ammo for my railgun. Mm-hmm. That's why I picked it for the last part of the stream. Right, that's where he came from. Oh, there you go. There's the exit. Also, if you look at the bottom left, you see like little pips or a little mark underneath the difficulty. That's a basically a difficulty bonus. So the better I do, the quicker the difficulty goes up. Thankfully I stopped him before he could actually heal himself. Where is this thing? I still don't know what blue means. More shards, more blood. Somebody's trying to burn me. This is going to be pretty sketchy. Oh wait, we still have a rail car. Oh. Oh. some help. Almost got sniped right there. That should be the end of the level. I really say whilst than uh, ye old English. Everybody hates the Sarah. up, which means I can improve one of my blessings here. And then we'll go for a critical healing. <laughs> Let's see. Then we're seeing my server juice for 1.5. And you pretty much want to have shards in all of these passives because they're permanent. Uh, 
let's see. It's a 4% critical. Alright, so I'm going to combine this. One more to get to blue. I wish it would tell you which ones we can actually do. Fine. There we go. I think that's all the MK1s. I do like the idea of a dynamic difficulty, too. I enjoy that in God Hand, and I like that in The World Ends With You. Mm -mm. I'm assuming that's going to be the devil. Oh, we're about to hit five. And beefier. Oh, what else we got here? Yeah, the little design is just not that interesting, sadly. You can see it's very wide design. But doesn't really make things interesting. The focus is definitely on uh, dodging and trying to get these shots. I suppose I should go to where they're telling me to. We're gonna hold on to walls. Uh oh, he looks pissed. Wait, was that not it? Oh, we're not there yet. And again, the better we play and the harder the game gets, the quicker we can start unlocking new stuff. Yeah, there you go. If I don't finish those eyes off, they'll just come right back to life. Uh oh, there's our boss. And so the minion before we deal with him. Too slow. Alright, one more hit for his health. That. He didn't want to come up and uh, get sniped. We got a free uncommon shard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who 
Who didn't see that one coming? I believe we can... Oop. Wait, what did I just do? There we go. Yo, you go there. So what I can do now is take this to an upgrade. And now we'll give myself 6% more damage. Hmm. Hmm, that could be useful. And we'll give that. I'm basically focusing all in on my gun to do as much damage as possible. I really want to get that cool down with my miracles. Wow. That's a bonus challenge right there. I think this is going to be where we dock. Alright. Oh, and we officially hit five on the difficulty scale. Alright. So this is a bonus. We have to get there in the right amount of time. To receive some extra goodies. get to another boss, too. Oof. None of that, please. Good. Thank 
again, you can see how they're getting a lot harder to kill. Oh, terrible. Or getting more rewards for it. Nope. I don't know how I just did that little super jump there. I am uh, hanging on here. Give me all that lovely railgun ammo. Oh, this is a bad drop. Thank you, a uh, heavy railgun. see the guy coming back to life because we didn't shatter him. There we go. So I can start the game at different difficulties as well. To basically make it harder, but give me a quicker boost to my rewards. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go for this. I'd like to get that upgrade. I think that's going to be very useful. There we go. That should unlock it. Yep. I don't think I have any more shards at the moment, though. Oh, huh? wait. Just enough to give myself a big 1% chance. <laughs> Surely that will come back and save me. I wish there were more boss fights though in this game. Here's our bonus door. Now this looks ominous, doesn't it? Oh God. Well, we're at 5.10. Gonna come down here? my uh, powers there. We know where the door is. Thankfully, it's like right next to us. Railgun is just like the best weapon. Right. 
He's blocking our way out. Music's a uh, pretty high on team too. Oh, this gonna be bad. Where's she aiming? Surely leaving that guy alive won't come back and get me, right? Uh oh. Oh, that's a new thing. Everything shoot me with death lasers. I think that's a rhetorical question at this point. That can't be our target. No. And the tar is always gonna be a big bad. I'll take all this. I do like the fact that when we're like hanging on a wall, we can only shoot one gun for obvious reasons. And all the drops are random. But the harder again we make it, the better the chance. Oh, that looks like our boss. He looks pissed. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, it got me right in the face. Oh, so that's what I think. Sometimes you just gotta go for a rail. I'm trapped. That's two. Is he bringing them back to life? Uh oh. I'll take that. Really use a railgun MK2 right now. Ow. He is not dying. Ooh. Oh crap. I have no idea where they just came from. Should be able to do more. Yeah, do one. There you go, big four percent. That's at eight percent. Eh, we'll leave it for now. So whatever that thing is on the far right, I have not ran into it. Must be some like epic level loot. Let's see. You know what? Let's go for it. So I can change the uh, miracles out at new game start. Maybe we'll find more inside these lockers. Uh -huh. Demon portals. Oh, more of these damn fountains. 
area. Give me all that lovely rail gun. Take it slow and steady, right? On oh, my way, I'm trying to kill your fountain here. Why is that snipe? Death bomb. At least there's nobody here to get in the way. Oh, he's got a crit. Oh, this is very bad. Oh, this is going to be uh, very painful for me, isn't it? No time to conserve ammo here. Time to dodge that sniper rifle. Yeah, ain't good. Oh, well, I have two lives left. Well, we have the rail gun and we have the pistols right now. Make it out here. Uh oh. That can't be good. I gotta survive for fifty seconds. Oh, I got one more life. Will we make it? Where am I right now? What time is it anyway? Eh, we're getting there. I think we'll wrap this up in a few minutes. Alright Dragon, have a good night. Thanks for playing too. It's not be an easy way to deal with the snipers. Oh. <laughs> Won't forget that. Thinking we're nearing the end of the base game. Uh, let's see. Let's go for that. For you. 
Eventually, if you just keep playing the game, you're going to unlock all enough shards. Just give yourself a massive advantage. But chances are it is not going to end well for me. They're supposed to be demons. Jump and shoot, shoot and jump. It's the advanced strategy in any game. Come on. Like, I would love for dead cells to have a dynamic difficulty like this. Dynamic difficulties are always hard to pull off, but they're amazing if the developer can handle them. It's like a spider in a center. Or is it just more of like a spider man? Now I use this strategy in health sign. Someone got that epic or legendary item. Terrible. I'm not going in there. Man, that's some travel, doesn't it? Gain control of the situation. As I dodge right into the shot. That was good of me. Alright. I got more rail than that, thankfully. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this guy is bringing them back. Or a resurrect, or it's just spawning. Yeah, he's doing it. Alright. Enough of this. Bring him back over here. See, the pistols do not uh, go through enemies. Unless I get a specific bonus. Ooh. More lore gives us more experience. Mm -hmm. 
going to be fighting that demon, most likely on the final floor. Which is like, so it's going to be two away. Not this again. Is that loot? Uh. Huh. Huh. Uh. They're spawning in, aren't they? I'm wasting all my good ammo, but it's keeping me alive. Oh, I avoid it. Very bad for me, doesn't it? I am all out of ammo. I'd be happy I get a lot of rare loot though. Gotta be close to unlocking something new. I'll take that. Enemies for him to shield. Thank you, Dave. Oh. I woke him, so I might as well deal with him. I'm probably going to take a death here, I can feel it. Yep. Worst possible spot for that thing to be. No. Yeah, I think we're done here. Mm -hmm. Well, 
guess there's nothing evil this way. I should be able to make it to the exit. Better not risk it. Alright. So, I don't think I'm gonna be beating the boss here. It's not bad. Let's see what the final boss is. I think it's gonna be very bullet spongy. So this is just basically like a prestige move. Huh. Yeah. 
how do I choose? This is just shows up. So we can start at level 4 or we can start at level 7. So it seems like starting there quick. Of course. Oh, child, you missed all the multiplayer earlier. Yeah, yeah. So what time is it? Yeah, we're, we're about at the end. I just want to see what a level 7 looks like. Oh. Well, they're doing a lot more damage, that's for sure. But it looks like you're starting off right away with getting rare stuff. Jeez. Mm. Nice. Jeez. So it seems like you probably want to start level 7 once we get to like an MK3. These guys are no jokes. Oof. That is a lot of damage they're doing already. Oh god. Those enemies aren't supposed to be on level 1. I'm curious what he's gonna give me though for killing him. That's it? Well, if I survive, there'll be a lot of rewards for me. Well, considering that I've already died on the very first room, not a good sign. Nice little break there. Oh dear. That is a lot of enemies. Mm. There's our boss. I was playing this on Twitch, you guys could send me healing items or send more enemies my way. Good, big 62 points of health. Okay. I'm dead. Oh, God. Whew. So I don't think we're ready for level 7. Oh, there we go, I can replace the miracles there. And then you have these various costumes. But I think we'll probably say goodnight here, though. Because it is getting a little bit late. And I don't know what we'll play for Monday night. Maybe we'll go back to that cross blue, or cross code, or try something else. So now, now that we're on four, I just want to see... Oh, God.
Oh, they're dying a lot faster. <laughs> I'm gonna bet if I can get up to MK3. That will let me survive on level 7. way of attacking enemies below us. That's good. Jump into the fire. Alright. Thank you for all those alerts, game. Let's deal with the elite here. Oh, God. And this will be our stop. Lots of food at least. What I really should be doing is just like slamming down every chance I get. Where are you, Elite? <laughs> there he is. Oh, he's got an achievement. a way to get him with this attack. I think we got him. One. He coming. Pistols are probably better, but they're MK too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it's definitely. We're going to get a lot more upgrades faster. Well, obviously, we're putting in a lot more pressure to stay alive. Alright. Let's save it here. And Mojo can get some sleep. As soon as we get to this damn exit. God, how high are we going? There we go. <laughs> Alright. Alright, everybody. So for everybody new, be sure to check out our Discord and Patreon, all that great stuff linked down below. We'll be back around 9, 9.30 EST next time for another stream and come back for daily discussions on game design here and on game wisdom where exam the art and science of games. Until then, take care.